and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to walk through the installation of the drivers for the OWC Mercury Pro LTO. In this video, we'll be installing using macOS 12.1 Monterey, but the steps should apply to other versions of macOS as well. We've already got the Mercury Pro LTO set up and attached to our Mac. We're now ready to begin. The first step is to download the latest drivers from OWC. You can find them by going to download.owc.com slash LTO slash Mac. Once the download is completed, you can go ahead and close your browser and open up your downloads folder where you should find the latest version of the LTO software. Opening that disk image will give you a basic getting started document which contains written instructions and three folders of software installers. The software we need is in the Addo SAS drivers folder. There are two disk images in here. The one we want is marked macOS KEXT ESAS HBA4 and the version number, which may be slightly different from the one on screen. Go ahead and open this image. You'll then have a window with an installer package and a README file. Go ahead and open the installer, and then follow the prompts to start installing. You'll be prompted to enter your username and password in order to continue with the installation. Once the installation is complete, you'll need to restart. However, in later versions of macOS, you'll be notified that you need to manually enable these new extensions. In the dialog box, click the button to open Security Preferences. Once the window is opened, click the lock in the lower left corner of the Preferences window. You'll once again have to enter your username and password to continue. Once you have, there'll be a button near the bottom that either says Allow or Details. If it says Details, click the button and make sure to select the Addo driver and click OK. If it says Allow, you should just need to click the button itself. Either way, you'll be given a warning about needing to restart your computer. We'll need to, but not from here. Click Not Now and close the Preferences window. Go back to the installer and select the Restart button there to reboot your machine. Make sure the Mercury Pro LTO is connected and turned on at this point. Once your computer is restarted, go to the Apple menu and select About This Mac. In the dialog box that pops up, select System Report. In the window that opens, find Thunderbolt slash USB 4 in the column on the left under Hardware. If the LTO is connected and turned on, you should see it listed here. Select PCI from the list on the left and look to see if the Addo Express SAS H1244 is listed and that the driver is indeed installed. If it isn't, you'll need to go back to the beginning and try installing again. Once that's confirmed, you should be able to go to the SAS category on the left and see your LTO device. In this case, it's an IBM model, but it could also be an HPE or Quantum model. Now that the drivers have been installed and is being recognized by the system, your OWC Mercury Pro LTO is ready to use. 